today we're gonna be doing a discada, but we come to this market. It's in the south side of Tucson, and we buy all our ingredients here. This place pretty much has everything we need. Great prices, great quality, and um, we're we're gonna get all everything we need. It's gonna be amazing. Always ask for a free sample, and that way. Uh, it's, it's like lunch, free lunch. De Oaxaca. They have their own, they make these fresh every day here at Tortilleria. Es que vamos a hacer escala. Nosotros cocemos el maíz. Ahí está oh, la cita de maíz. Ahí está la cita de maíz. De hecho, conserva él y luego lo molemos. It's the only store in Tucson that makes their own corn tortillas. Like they have their own setup. They're the, the only place here in Tucson that does it. Estas son con chile habanero. Oh, ¿en serio? Sí. Ah, ¿sabes quién me va a llevar? Está muy bien. Habanero, man. They got habanero chili and these corn tortillas. We're gonna try these out today. Salsa del Arbol, which is, um, it's a really hot pepper. Cause these guys love, I mean, love hot stuff. I don't know how they can do it, but they love it. They'll pay for it later, trust me. <laughs> Got the sweet bread. This is made every day. Every day they come out here and they make every every type of sweet bread. Choco flan. Come on, man. Can life be any sweeter? Get it? Can life be any sweeter? Choco flan. You know why? You know why I always get something like that? Because life's too sweet to be bitter. We just went to this store called Cardenas, which happens to be on the south side of Tucson. Well, kind of like on the south side of Tucson. It's new, it's really great. They have all kinds of stuff here. But what we're gonna be doing today is what is known as a discada. So discada is a Spanish word that actually comes from Mexico, northern Mexico. When we get back to the shop where we're headed back right now, we're gonna actually put it all together and I'm gonna explain more about it, about the origin and where it became known more and how it was created and how we do our twist to it now that we're over here on this side of the border. Not that we were on that side, but now we're on this side. But it's gonna be amazing. So let me tell you the story about the discada. So discada originated in the north of Mexico. It was actually created by a agricultural farmer in Mexico because they do a lot of farming up north of Mexico. So one day, you know, he has this, they're tilling the ground and he has this disc that they're replacing them off of the actual tractors. And as they're replacing them, um, he gets this great idea of why not use it like almost like a giant walk, if you could say that. And, you know, he welded some legs and a few other things. And the next thing you know, he started to cook all the meat. Everything was cooked on there. Instead of using like a grill where it has a grate and everything falls through, they were using all these discs that they use for plowing the earth and, you know, where there's a farm. But that's where it came from. And so it's stuck around for years. I'm not sure exactly how long it's been around, but nowadays, we buy these really cool discs. You see, now they're really high tech. Got a place for the, everything cooks. As it's cooking, you put it on the outside right here. And it's really efficient. I really, really enjoy it. And the food, the taste, everything, it's amazing. So that's my story, but yeah, 
um, look it up. I mean, don't hold me to it 100%, but you're going to see that's pretty much where it originated from. So one of the ingredients that it requires, which there's many ingredients, and to be quite honest, you could put multiple ingredients, happens to be Winnie's. Now this is what I use because this gives it some of the best flavor, Angus. So another ingredient that I actually use for uh, making the discada is bacon. But I buy different types of bacon. So I buy this type of bacon, which I'm not gonna say it's a little bit more healthier, but it has less fat. But then you want the one that's like got all the fat like you see all the rendering right there of all the fat because that's gonna melt that's gonna go in the disc and it's gonna give it a really good flavor you're gonna see that fat there's good fat and there's a bad fat. this is good fat Damn, that was a meat. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. So the tacos are ready. Let's taste it. Perfect. Good things take time to make, but when they're done, they're done right. You can't, you can't beat this. 2021, the Scala Cook-Off. It's happening now. So we're finally done with the discada. It was really good, everybody loved it. We had a really good time. And um, you know, to be honest, as a supervisor, as a boss, um, I think it's important that we do these type of things because it helps bond and it just helps build up the team, mostly during these times right now. I know we're in a new year and everybody's got great expectations, but you know, it, I still think it's up to us. I think it's up to us, the individual who can make a difference and help change everything that we're dealing with and everything that we're going through. But you know what? We all have the power to change it. We all have the power to do something different. And if you're a boss, a supervisor, a foreman, you know what? I'd like to challenge you to do one act of kindness for the people who you work with and work for you. Um, it'll go a long way, trust me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this because I definitely enjoyed it. It tasted a lot better than it looked and it was amazing. Y'all um, have a great day, you know, um, and uh, till the next one, I'll see you. Thanks for sticking around with me and watching this.